So the city of Los Angeles is a city of renters. 64% of the residents here are renters. Unfortunately, uh, over 60% of those renters are paying unaffordable rents, paying upwards of 50% of their income uh, to rent, leaving little more to pay for, for other essentials. Um, in Los Angeles, we have the highest poverty rate in the nation at 26%. That means is one out of every four households in LA are living below the poverty level. That number is surely to skyrocket after this whole uh, crisis is over. Uh, we are also the homeless capital of the nation. On any given night, upwards of, of 60,000 uh, people are, are living on the streets in LA County. Um, and we have the most overcrowded conditions in the nation, because of the rents, people are forced to double up and triple up, which also uh, brings a crisis in regards to the social uh, distancing we need. So in, in this area, in nationally, um, seven out of the 10 most overcrowded zip codes are here in Los Angeles. It's a stunning number. Uh, I do want to talk a little bit about the long-term view on all of this, but I do want to talk because we've been discussing here uh, on this program some of the steps that have been taken, the moratorium on evictions. And as I understand it, there's been some movement uh, just recently from the LA County Board of Supervisors. What can you tell us about these latest developments? So th there's a lot of confusion um, because there's numerous laws depending upon where where you live um and and so what the board of supervisors did um uh, tuesday was that they issued an executive order to extend uh the temporary rent freeze and moratorium uh that have been in place 